The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to add repeating text box contents across multiple pages. Typically when you do this it adds it in a horizontal format. I'm going to show you how to make your text more visually pleasing with the text boxes, but I'm going to do so using a vertical format for this document setup. The first thing I want to show you is that right now I don't have any text boxes uh, repeating across any of the pages from a Microsoft Word document. The first thing I'm going to do is to change my view to one page, so I'm going to click on the view tab. In the zoom group I'm going to click on one page. Next, I'm going to add in a text box into the header area. So I'm going to double click in the header area and then I'm going to select the insert tab. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the text group and I'm going to click on the text box command. The next thing I'm going to do is select simple text box. When I click on that I can see this information is present and what I want to point out is that people should be in Earth Buddy. So I'm going to say be in Earth Buddy. And I know you have a difficult time seeing that but I'm also going to go in and double click on this and I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to format that text so that it is 30, the size 30. So you can see that says be in Earth Buddy. Next, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to click on Design and I'm going to select Close, Header, and Footer. The purpose of that is just to show you that on every one of these pages you can now see that that text box is showing on every single page. But I'm not done. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back and double click inside of the header area to activate it. So we have those lines. And when that happens, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text box and I'm going to widen it a little bit. And I'm also going to go in and center the text and I'm going to change the color of that particular text. In this instance, I'm going to make it this color and I'm also going to make it bold. And so with that being said, the next thing that I'm going to do is take it out of this format in terms of it being horizontal and I'm going to click on the format tab up here at the top. I want to look in the text group. I'm going to select the text direction area and I'm going to say rotate all text 90 degrees and I'm going to move this over here to this section so that everything fits in the manner that I desire. And if I like this I'm going to click in an outside area in just a moment. So let me just move this over a little bit more. Okay. So if I like this, then I can leave it and you can see what it's looking like on each of the pages. The only problem is I don't like the outside border. So if you decide that you want to change that, what you can do is right click on the text box border. In this case, I'm going to select format shape and I'm going to look on the left and select line color and I'm going to choose no line and now I'm going to click on close. By deselecting I can see that that information is going to show across all pages. The next thing I'm going to do is go back and click on the design tab under header and footer tools and I'm going to click close header and footer and so there you have it. You can have that information repeating across multiple pages and it's showing up because you formatted it as a header and a footer.